Greetings, sports fans. ASMR Sports here. Alright, today we've got um, a rarity for me lately, which is opening a new hobby product. Um, oh yeah, I hope everybody's doing well. It's been a minute since I recorded uh, what's new in the world. Let's see. Um, are doing fairly well. I think they're like 8-2 and two in their last 10 games, and they just won this evening against the Tampa Bay Rays after two walk-off wins in a row. Um, and before that, they had a, like a five or six game win streak before their most recent loss. So, yeah, things are looking up in Yankee world. That's exciting. Um, Fernando Tatis Jr. Uh, was announced to be on the injured list um, after contracting COVID-19, um, and uh, I don't know. I know that, um, like, back when the pandemic was in full swing, like, the average uh, person was told that, like, basically the quarantine period is, like, 10 days after their last symptom, and I'm, I don't know, I don't know if they did quite that when, you know, the season, the Major League season was going on last year. I can't remember what they did when somebody got sick. But, um, yeah, it's a bummer if he's out for 10 days or two weeks or something like that. That's obviously a lot of playing time that he's missing out on after missing a good chunk of time with his shoulder issue. Um, so that's no good. Uh, apparently he elect, I, I get, I, I only have like sparse information just from reading a quick like blowout thread, but apparently he elected not to get the vaccine. And I think the vaccine, you know, has generally been available to most adults in a lot of states, um, probably in California for a while now, I think, I don't know. I, I, I would imagine, I know where I am. It's been available to all adults and I, you know, I would guess any baseball, any professional baseball player that wanted it could get it for quite some time, even before the general population, so, um, his, his, uh, election not to take the vaccine was his alone, I guess. Make of that what you will. This guy. Alright, so 2021 Bowman. Honestly, so every year for the last, uh, well, basically since uh, 2018, I've ordered at least a case of Bowman every year. It's come out, and like in 2020, I ordered like, I don't know, like five cases, um, most of them hobby. All of them hobby but one. Um, so, um, yeah, I got in the habit of just always buying Bowman. You know, and every year it was more expensive. Um, part of that is just, you know, tops inflating the price, but most of it is uh, distributors and retailers, you know, jacking their price because they know the market will buy at elevated prices, so, um, come 2021, the, like, pre-sale price on this stuff was, like, 300 and some dollars a box, which is just crazy town, I mean, you know, three, four years ago, that was, like, you could get half a case for that price, um, or you might have to go a little bit more than four years ago, but, yeah, 300 some dollars a box is insane. So anyways, this stuff came out, you know, the breakers had their breaks. And the price has definitely come down a bit. It's uh, selling for $280 a box on blowout right now. Um, I think uh, I can get this stuff in the aftermarket for $255 a box. This particular box came from my distributor, so I paid like $60 for it. <laughs> um, and, you know, not much I can do with like 
a single box. I could, I guess, theoretically, I could sell, I could, I could sell packs. People would probably buy those. Um, but with only one box, I figure, what the hell? I might as well go and open it. That's the other thing is I've, you know, since like 2017, I've opened a box at least of Bowman every year when it's come out. In 2021, I haven't opened any of it yet. This stuff has been out for a while. I don't know why my distributor took forever to get this to me, but they did. So here we are. So this stuff, yeah, it's 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 extremely expensive, um, you know, compared to other uh, Bowman products, or you know, the first that Bowman hobby pricing in prior years. This is much higher compared to that, um, and yet the rookie class or the class of prospects in here is probably the worst that's been in a Bowman product or in, you know, the base Bowman product since, I don't know, I can remember. In 2020, you had Jason Dominguez, who, you know, probably is like the biggest prospect um, in terms of value, hobby value in, you know, like a decade, um, just because he's with the Yankees and he's got kind of a lot of mystique around him. But I'm saying in terms of things that excite the hobby, I mean, he's, a, he's like a power hitter. He's like, he's got like one of the best set of tool ratings that they use to assess prospects of like, you know, any prospect on earth. So, I mean, just in terms of like potential, uh, I think he's the most um, sort of value uh, producing player to be in a Bowman product in, in quite some time. Um, although I should also say that every time, <laughs> I swear every time a prospect is supposed to be like, you know, this can't miss next Mike Trout, you know, they turn into a pile of crap and Mike Trout was not, you know, this guy that was selling cases of product. Um, so, uh, you know, you never can tell, but in any event, my point is 2020 had Jason Dominguez, which is a huge, huge thing, and they weren't even, you know, people weren't even sure, had no idea he was going to be in that product until, like, a couple months before it came out, um, and when that was announced that he was going to be in it, or when it was figured out, I should say, that he was going to be in it because, like, he had posted a picture of himself autogra or autographing the cards. You know, the stuff like 2x in value overnight, and I happen to have a bunch of my pre-orders already in place by then, so that was, was super nice. Um, I think I pre-ordered probably like, I don't know what, like thirteen, fourteen hundred dollars a case. You know, which at the time was like nuts to pay that much, but then like when that stuff came out, it was selling for three thousand dollars a case. Um... So, all right, anyways, so yeah, Jason Dominguez in that. 2019 was really good, too. You had Wander Franco, and you had um, Marco Luciano, and a bunch of other pretty dang good players uh, as well. 2018, you had uh, Luis Robert, and um, more importantly, back then, you had uh, Shoya Otani autographed rookie cards, which were his first, like, licensed rookie card because he was not in 2018 Tops Series 1. Um, and in 2017, you know, I think back then Acuna was not really, like, a big name. Um, but there was lots of good stuff in 2017. I mean, the rookie cards, just the, like, the, not the prospects, but the rookie cards of Aaron Judge and, um, Bellinger, who were having, like, monster rookie home run years, um, were, you know, <laughs> enough value in that product to make it pretty special. Um, anyways, but this, you know, the top guys in this product are, are honestly pretty, pretty lackluster, and, like, the two guys
guys on the box are dudes that already have cards out um, elsewhere, like in prior years. So what does that tell you? Um, uh, strangely, the most valuable uh, cards in uh, here are of a guy named Blaze Jordan, who's a Red Sox prospect, but he's only like the number 10 prospect in the Red Sox system. Um, the second most valuable card in here is Austin Martin, who's the number two prospect in the uh, Blue Jays system, and I think he's probably got a lot more upside than Blaze Jordan. But you have plays for the Blue Jays, right? So not a ton of people excited about that team generally. Um, all right, so let's go. Um, this is the first 2021 Bowman I have opened. Um, I have been um, seeing reports of like wanton or rampant um, uh, production quality <laughs> issues. A lot of scratches on Chrome cards, which you know I'm starting to think is just something you have to expect now because production quality has gotten so bad with Tops and with Panini. Joe Adele rookie. Oh wow! So there's one autograph per box, and we get it in the first pack. That's a that's a letdown because wow, look at the just look at the scratching all over this thing. Oh, you can see it. Yeah, you can see it. Just smudges and scratching. Good God in heaven. So, who the fuck is Nick Gonzalez, you guys? Um, so it's not a first Bowman. Like, is that's what you want, is a first Bowman auto. He's not a pitcher, I guess we could say that. Um, so, actually, he was the seventh overall in 2020. So I guess it's just a pretty good player that I've not heard of yet. Probably because he's, for, you know, plays for Pittsburgh, but... Um, I don't know if this is his first autograph in a Bowman, but it's not his first Bowman card, so he must have had cards in 2020, which, you know, makes sense if he was drafted in 2020. Um, so number one prospect in the Pirates organization, so not a bad card, except that it's like a PSA 4 because of all these freaking condition issues. Just stuff all over this, my God in heaven. Wow. I mean, I heard it was bad, but God, I didn't expect that. <laughs> bad. <laughs> All right, and I see something colored coming up, so that's nice. So, yeah, what we're looking for now, and so here's a, just a regular chrome card right behind it, and it does not have scratching. Um, uh, so this one probably maybe got scratched by the player when he was autographing it and just wasn't careful putting it back, although this one has scratches on it and it's not an autograph card. So I don't know, I think there are issues that are Tops' fault and there are issues that are the player's fault and we're going to probably see lots of both. So here's a new color parallel. It's like lime green or something. Let's see if it says the name of this. Oh god, these are so small. It's not a first Bowman card of this guy. 96 overall round three pick in 2018. Well, at least that doesn't have scratches on it, so that's nice. It's off center though. Number to 399, so it's a pretty, pretty lackluster uh, parallel. There we got both uh, Cabrian Hayes, and this is the first um, licensed rookie card of him. He's going to be in uh, um, Top Series 2 flagship, 
and then Joe Adele, who was in 2021 Top Series 1. So we've got some big stars. We've got some nice rookies. So, you know, if, if I had to pick one pack out of this whole box, this is not a bad one, right? we got the auto. we got two good rookies. we got um, that lime green thing. Yeah, maybe that'll be the best pack of the of the whole box. Alright, so we got a refractor coming up. Spencer Howard, Cadell Marte, Joey Votto, Kristen Mira. That's a subset card, Christian Robinson. Tyler Callahan. Josiah Gray. People are pretty excited about him. Okay, there you go. So the design of these cards, eh. what can you say? You know, they have a nice clear border. That's nice. I, I like borders. Um, this, you know, sort of silly kind of futuristic techno look is a little bit, feels pretty dated to me. Not a huge fan of that. But overall, what can I say? It's, uh, you know, it's not terrible. I, I honestly don't see a lot of, you know, card designs that I like these days just because a lot of times they're just, I don't know, it seems like they're just getting bored in the design rooms. They don't really know what to do, and they just put a bunch of strange-looking uh, flourishes on everything. I'm not a graphic designer or anything, but... So there's Blaze Jordan, the guy I was talking about. Prospect for the Red Sox. Francisco Alvarez, Jordan Walker, Ismail Mina, free agent from 2018, Ronnie Mauricio. stuff was going nuts in the preseason. Hunter Green, you know, that was a guy, big flamethrower, um, big tall guy, well, actually he's not that tall, six foot four, but, um, he was, uh, he was, uh, so he was drafted in 2017, so he's been around for a while. I've got, like, quite a few cards of him that are pretty decent cards, like a number of auto cards. And I remember, you know, he, there was quite a lot of buzz around him, but he had um, Tommy John surgery, it looks like. Uh, missed all of 2019, and then 2020, there basically, there wasn't, you know, minor league baseball. So it's like, who knows how he's going to do now this year when they finally have minor league baseball again. But you might start hearing some noise around him if it looks like he's, you know, recovered well from his uh, Tommy John. And um, that's a nice looking Joe Adele in decent shape. Look at that. Finally got a nice card that's not scratched. Um, so yeah, Hunter Green, Mackenzie Gore, another top pitching prospect. Matt Manning, another top pitching prospect. There's that hundred green. Um, so I saw that uh, the 2021 Bowman Mega Boxes and the Bowman Mega Boxes are always an exciting thing when those come out. Uh, but I heard those are starting to show up in targets around the country, but not in very good volume. I have the last couple of years been just waiting for those to come out and then buying them off eBay. They sell, they used to sell for like, I think $14.95. And um, I would go on eBay and get them for like 50 bucks when they first came out because there's just a lot of them available. A lot of people pick them up and try to flip them on eBay and drives the price down, you know, when there's a ton of people doing that. Um, it's kind of a fun Dodgers card. Prospects in here, um, or one of the, I think, anyways, one of the better pull 
else, but I don't know why, because look at that, uh, 203rd overall, but he's the number 14 Phillies prospect, so I think he's probably doing a little better than his draft position. Um, and I presume he's got autos in here. Austin Wells. There's a Yankee in here. Um, Kevin O'Cantra, who gets pretty good dollars on eBay. But he's only like the number 12 prospect for the Yankees, and I really haven't heard much about him at all. Um, as opposed to a lot of other prospects that you hear kind of chatter about when they broadcast Yankees games and just on Yankee blogs and stuff. There's Fernando. So I was a little surprised to see um, how much Ocantra was selling for, but you know, that's that Yankee boost in value that players get just because there's a lot of Yankee fans trying to buy up cards of, of their prospects. say so like Bowman honestly you know I mean you can get certainly a fair number of colored parallels and you got your one auto you know and those are the exciting hits um, I mean I think if you got like a, just a chrome of one of the top guys Blaze or Austin Martin or Alcantara you know and it was in really good condition and maybe it could be a PSA 10 that would be a pretty decent hit too but um, I don't know, like, there is a, just a frac base refractor, you know, I just don't know if that's enough, Bobby Dahlbeck, rookie card, Royce Lewis, he, um, he got injured, like, in the preseason, and there are a lot of people who were pretty bummed about that, um, yeah, so Bowman is a product, it's kind of like, uh, a little bit like, you know, it's it's better than Top's flagship because Top's flagship honestly does not have that many good parallels. Um, this does, but they're they're not super easy to get, which is why I think products like um, Select Football are going like bonkers because people just love how many like numbered parallels you get out of that product. Um, you know, Prism is kind of this, you know, same thing as Bowman, I think. Like, you actually get one, you know, parallel, and that could be a base Prism, like Refractor. There's Max Meyer. Um, Bobby Witt Jr. Chrome, I'll take that out. Um, yeah, so like Prism products are kind of like this Bowman product in that, you know, you're probably not going to get numbered parallels with any kind of frequency. Um, so I don't know, I think, I think products like Select and actually like um, hobby versions of uh, um, Chronicles are, are um, I think, going to know continue to have strong interest because there's so many so many colored parallels you pull out of those people just love that 
that stuff. Jordan Groshans, I have been wondering when he's gonna do some fun things in the minors. I've got a couple of autographs of him that are out of, I think, 2018. Uh, uh, Bowman's Best, which I've, I've opened a lot of. All right, so I think I'm gonna do this pack in the next one. And I might just put these other ones up for sale on the uh, hotcardboard.com site, which you should all go to and buy some stuff from. That's my site if you're just kind of wondering. I was kind of hoping I would get a Kevin Alcantara card, though. Marco Luciano. All right, last pack I'm going to open, I think, guys. everybody um we'll catch you all later i got uh, a few ideas for content lined up so i've got uh, my work cut out for me and i'll try to get some videos out all right well thanks so much for watching everybody we'll catch you all later bye now